In this video, I want to demonstrate how to create an exploded line sketch for my explosion as seen here. So first, I want to make sure I'm showing the exploded view. Then from the assembly ribbon, I'll move across. And below exploded view, I'll select the drop down arrow. And in this video, I'll manually show how to add exploded line. So I'll select exploded line sketch. Over here, it asks me what items to connect. And you'll notice I'm in the sketch ribbon bar. And by default, it's going to sketch some lines that go parallel to the X, Y, and Z axis to join the components. So I'm going to select this roll pin first. Now the arrow is going the wrong way. So I can click on the arrow to reverse it, or I can come over here and use this reverse option. And next, I want to tell it it goes into this part. So I'm going to rotate around, and I want to say that the pin goes in this side. That's why I rotate around. I'll select that hole. Then I'll come down here and select this hole. And finally, the pin goes into this hole. And I can see a preview here. If I don't want this last part of that, I can right click here and I can delete that. And then I can look at it and ask myself if that's how I would like it to look. If I don't want it going through this part, again, I can come up here, right click, and I can delete that. Or I can right click in this cell and I can clear all my selections and start again. So I'll select the roll pin. I'll have it go up into this hole and into here. And I'll say OK for that. And I'm still creating routed lines until I'm done. So next I want to tell it that I'll grab that so I get the whole feature. And then I'll select this to show these two parts to come together. And I'll say OK. We'll also notice here it has the route line toolbar up for me. And when I'm done, I can say close that. And I'm done creating that, and I'm still in sketch mode here. So if I'm not happy with that, I can delete these lines, but I'll accept that and I'll say OK. And I've created an exploded line sketch. When I come back to the configuration manager and I right click on the explosion and I collapse it, the exploded lines will go away. When I right click and explode it, they'll now return. 